Hey guys, so Hercule is the deadliest assassin in the Quarter meta. He can literally one-shot many squishy heroes, and also he can counter many meta heroes as well, such as Ling. These are my build and emblem setup. Killing Spree is absolutely the best talent for the assassin emblem right now. As for this spell, I will 100% only recommend Petrify. By the way, my cable kept getting disconnected at the start of the game, so I will have to use the replay for the early game. You can play Hellcore in the side lane or middle lane, it doesn't matter, he's pretty good in any lane. Croc is one of the best heroes to clear the minion wave instantly, so it's not the most efficient way to start with the buff first. Unfortunately, because of that in-game decision, we will end up falling way behind right off the bat. We won't be able to clear the minion wave right away, and they will have the advantage to take our elite as well. And this just happened. I miscalculated the damage from Hellcore's second skill. The enemies are level 3 and 2, while we're all still level 1. But that's all according to plan. The more challenging the game, the more entertaining it is, right? And also, I'm still trying to reconnect the cable and reset the recording software, so you will see that my movement is a little bit weird. Loyu damage is absolutely disgusting. She's probably the best support in the current meta. I will make a video about her very soon, with an updated build and new tips and tricks. So I finally managed to reconnect the cable and reset the recording software. Now let's play the game. I was testing how much damage Hellcore skill will deal against a tank. I was actually quite surprised. You can use his ultimate to take down the turret a lot faster, he gains more attack speed. Here I'm trying to gain some stacks, and if I see that Valor is out of position, I will kill him first. But he was smart enough to recall back to base. It's always a good idea to have his stacks ready before joining a fight. This way you can instantly kill the squishy heroes. You can see that a lot of times, I won't use the second skill to try to keep his stacks. Try to build this habit when you're using Hellcourt. Without his ultimate and petrify, it's not a good idea to start a fight. When you're playing Hellcore, you have to continuously find a good opportunity to kill these squishy heroes whenever your Petrify and Ultimate are ready. And don't be too afraid of split pushing, you can easily escape with his ultimate.
Always go for the damage dealer first. Kufra just used his ultimate. Now I'm not afraid of him anymore. Learn when you should retreat. Don't overextend. Here I was waiting for either the Clint or Sass to show up, but they never did. Your team destroyed a turret. The ally has slain the turtle. A lot of times I will attack the jungle monster just to keep his stacks up. Guys, remember, stop auto-aiming, I will keep repeating this over and over again until it's stuck in your and my subconscious. Initiate retreat. Here the whole enemy team is distracted, so I'm using this chance to push as much as I can. A good idea is to use the ultimate before the minion wave shows up, so the enemy will less likely notice that you're split pushing. If you can remember these tips, then you will easily start dominating your games with Hellcurt. Have his stacks ready before fighting, kill the damage dealer first, and split push when given the chance. Oh, and don't forget, don't auto aim, unless you have petrified and the target is immobile. But a good way to increase your chance at not missing his second skill is by making sure that you land right on top of the target with your first skill. This way, it's very unlikely that you can miss his second skill. I was actually surprised how fragile is this Uranus, probably because he built enchanted talisman first, and because I'm pretty fed as well. If the enemy has purify, just back away after you have used his second skill, then engage again when the timing is right. Choose your fights and timing wisely. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and if you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe.